Hi guys, I'm going to be explaining how ohms work and how they relate to bass amps, how it relates to what you should buy if you want to build a bass rig. Say you've already got a bass rig, you're not sure what you can and can't mix with, those kind of things. So here we go. Ohms are our measure of resistance. What we can do is we can measure how much of a load that a bass head will actually put out to the cabinet. So as a rule of thumb, a higher number relating to ohms will mean that there's more resistance, which means you'll get less power from the head. Base cabinets tend to come in either 8 ohms or 4 ohm varieties. There are some exceptions, but for now we're going to focus on 8 and 4, as these are the most common ones found. Let's say that most heads will operate at an output of 4 ohms. So let's say it's a 500 watt head. It will be designed to run 500 watts at 4 ohms. This is pretty standard across the board. So what happens when you give this 4 ohm 500 watt head, so that's its ideal output, what happens when you give it an 8 ohm cabinet? Well, what it will do is it will limit the actual output of the head so that you'll get about half. So this will vary a little bit. Some amps actually tell you exactly on the back how much you'll be getting with an 8 ohm load. Quickly, you might be thinking, oh, but it says it's 500 watts. It is. It is a 500 watt head. However, that runs at 4 ohms. This is to stop it from giving the full power of the head straight into an 8 ohm cabinet and just overloading it. If you want to get the full power out of the head, you can do one of two things. You can run two. 8 ohm cabinets, or you can run one 4 ohm cabinet. Now, the way that you can add these two 8 ohms together, you might be thinking, well, shouldn't that be 16? It actually goes the other way. So if you have an 8 and an 8, that actually becomes a 4. The amp treats it as a 4 ohm enclosure. This is really good if you want to have the options of changing and modifying the speakers that you use in your setup. If you want to have, say, a 15 inch cone and then a 2 by 10 bassier tones and toppier tones depending on what you're playing. You may also want this so that you can say do smaller gig with a 15 inch cone, say you're playing something reggae or something more bassy, you know, R&B, that kind of thing. Then another time you might want to take a 210 because it might be a bit of a sort of poppier function gig where you need more high end. What you could also do is just have a single forum enclosure. Now this can still be a 210, it might be a, a 1x15, it could be a 410. Most 6x10s and 8x10s are already 4 ohms. What this means is that you have one enclosure that is the full output of the head because it's designed to work at 4 ohms so it just gives everything to the cabinet. I'm going to be covering this a bit more in my bass amp buying guide. Do go over to the other part of the channel and check that out. That's all going to be covered. The main thing to think about when selecting cabinets is power handling and do you want to have variety. The best way of working out what you need starts with your head because your head can only handle what it's designed for. If you have a 250 watt head there's no point having 800 watts worth of speaker, regardless of the, the ohmage. Ideally, what you want to do is find the maximum output of your head. Let's say that's going to be 500 watts at 4 ohms. What you want to do, ideally, is give it a 500 watt 4 ohm load. So you can either do this by having two 8 ohms, which now act as a 4 ohm enclosure, or you give it a 4 ohm enclosure just as is, like one 4 ohm cabinet. The main thing to check for when you're weighing up this rig is that you're going to subtract ohms. So 8 and an 8 will become a 4. If you have a 4 and a 4, it's going to become a 2, so you have to have a quite a specific head for that. There's only a few out there which really do that. So just remember, you subtract ohms, so an 8 and an 8 will become a 4. The only thing is, you're adding the watts from these. So let's say that 8 and 8 are both 200 watts. When it becomes one enclosure, it's now going to be 200 and 200. It's 400 watts, but because they're both 8s, the 8 part is going to become half. That's the ohms. So you add watts and then you subtract ohms. Hopefully you guys have found that helpful. If you've got more questions, do just ask me in the comments just to stop the video from being 15, 20 minutes long because you can kind of go on all day about this. I don't think that I would have made for a, a helpful, quick video. Obviously, if you do have more questions, please leave the video a like so I know that I'm going in the right direction. Please feel free to send me stuff in the comments. We can kind of work out what's the best possible match for your head and or cabs. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be lots of new content. It's going to be focused more on giving you guys more helpful, straightforward advice, hone in on what's accurate and what's sensible for most people to understand and find helpful. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, see you soon.